What's up guys? Stan here from Rocky Creek. Welcome back into the kitchen. So we're gonna be getting some work done in here because it has been raining like day after day after day and it is a muddy mess outside. What you bringing, buddy? Sorry, little man here. He must saw me recording. He got something he wanna show you, the purple dinosaur, huh? Guys, it's hard to believe. Y'all been along the ride with us when he was born and yeah, he's not even, he's barely over nine months and He's walking and running all over this house, just going crazy. But nonetheless, we're here in the kitchen and we are officially into spring. And what does spring usually bring on? It brings on a huge amount of eggs coming from our egg layers. And a common question that people ask me all the time is, what can you do when you have an overabundance of eggs other than sell them? And one of my favorite snacks to have on hot summer days is none other than pickled eggs. Now for a lot of people, pickled eggs is like love or hate. I absolutely love them. My wife, she tolerates them. Other people, they don't want nothing to do with them. But I like mine very simple and very traditional. And it takes just a couple ingredients and a little bit of time. And I'm gonna show you right now what I do. It's nothing fancy, no frills, no tricks, but I'm surprised at how many people have never had a pickled egg. And if you've never had a pickled egg and you have an abundance, I recommend you try this because it is super easy and I think they're super delicious. So let me show you what you need and let's get to it. So the only stuff that you need is, I'm gonna use one dozen eggs. Now, if you have farm fresh eggs, the older eggs that you have, the better because they tend to peel a little bit easier. You need one can of, I like to get sliced beets. You can get whole beets, whatever you want. I like mine sliced because I almost like those just as much as the eggs once we get them jarred up. I need some sugar and I need either cider vinegar or just white vinegar, whichever one you want. I just use whatever I have on hand and I'm gonna go ahead and do the apple cider vinegar in this batch. And then I just need some kind of jars to put them in to keep them refrigerated once I'm all said and done. So let's jump into it. First off, we gotta get the eggs boiled into hard boiled eggs. So let's go. Now, when it comes to boiling eggs, there are like a huge amount of different methods that you can try that some people say work best for them. I pretty much just put them in cold water, turn it on about medium to high heat, let it go to a boil. Once it gets to a full boil, I turn the heat off, put the lid on, and I just leave them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then from there, I drop them into a water ice bath, ice water bath, put it in some ice water. Um, let them sit for a little bit and then that tends to do pretty well for me um, if you have any other suggestions or tips or tricks on how to to make it work better I know I've read like put baking soda in and stuff different things like that if you got any recommendations and tips and tricks especially on farm fresh eggs let me know because farm fresh eggs can be a little bit harder but nonetheless let's let these roll get them done we'll get them peeled move on to the next step all right now that these are boiling I turn them off, I cover them up, and get them off the heat. Once I get them off the heat, now I'm just gonna let them sit there for about 10 minutes, and then we'll move them into their ice bath. What are you doing, buddy? You gonna be good while I finish up this video? You're so into everything. You stress your mama and daddy out. What are you doing? You like, oh, put me on the camera, Dad. All right, now that about 10 minutes has passed, they've been sitting in the boiling water with the lid on. Go ahead and drop them in. I like to do them one at a time using a slotted spoon. Add in as little of the hot water from the pot as possible, therefore allowing that water to stay more cold. And then I'm gonna let these sit in this water bath for about another eight to 10 minutes. So it's only been a couple minutes. I tend to get impatient when I do this. But you can see it still works. You can see how easy those eggs peel right there. And these aren't no store-bought eggs, which are typically much more difficult to peel. So this is actually working out. All 
All right, so we got them all boiled and peeled. Now, I would, like I told you, the farm fresh eggs are a lot harder to peel. Um, so if you got any recommendation on how to get farm fresh ones to peel fine, uh, we appreciate that. Um, to send them my way so I can put it to use. Now, you store-bought ones, I can get them perfect, but the ones that come out of our yard, it just never works out too well. So, but anyways, it doesn't matter. They're still gonna taste good. So let's get these dropped in jars and then we'll start making the pickling sauce or juice. So these, I don't know, I usually, of course I get ball canning jars, but I found these Kilner jars at some local stores for with that have the little lock and the little gasket to keep air out and keep stuff fresh. And I found for items like this for pickling, these actually work really, really well. So we'll just drop the eggs down in here. Now we're gonna knock out our pickling liquid, which is super easy. It's one cup of everything that's involved. So you're gonna have one cup of sugar, one cup of vinegar, and one cup of water. Nice thing about having my Berkey so close is I can just pull the water right from it. So it's one cup of everything. And then instead of one cup, it's just gonna be one jar of whatever beets of your choice that you decide to use. So once we got all that incorporated, now we're just gonna turn the, the heat up on it. We're gonna to try to bring that to a boil. The biggest thing though is that because you have all that sugar in there, you do need to make sure you stir this pretty regularly to keep anything from burning. And the only thing I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get the liquid hot enough to dissolve all that sugar and then I can put it in the jars from then. I don't have to wait for it to cool. I can put it in hot. So you can see it's at a good boil. So that's usually when I know I'm good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the heat and we'll get ready to jar it up. All right, so we got all the eggs in the jar. The liquid is ready. Now, I'm gonna use my funnel. If you're confident enough and you can just pick this up and pour it in there, hey, power to you. But I just, I tried it one time and it ended terribly. So now I just use my ladle and try to ladle it in. And usually the beets are soft enough that they can still go through even if they're bigger than the hole than what's in the actual funnel. The biggest thing though is I just wanna make sure that this completely covers all of the eggs so that way they stay pickled, which also helps not only make sure that they get all the flavor, but also make sure that the eggs actually stay preserved for a longer period of time than if you just boiled eggs like normal. Now this isn't like normal canning where I gotta worry about headspace and all that. The biggest thing is that I just wanna make sure that the eggs are completely submerged. If that's the case, then you're gonna be good to go. As I just give it a little bit of a wiggle, unless, you know, some people will add a little bit of beets at a time, a little bit of egg at a time. I just kind of give them a little move around and make sure that everything gets completely coated. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, I'm going to let this cool down a little bit at room temperature and then after about a half hour or so I'm going to place it in the refrigerator and then the longer you let it sit the more flavor and the more color they're going to change and they're going to become in this very pretty purple. So we're going to put it in the fridge. I'll usually let them go for about three days before I start eating them and I'll let you see what the finished product looks like. 72 hours later. All right guys, so it's been three days now. We've had the pickled eggs going, um, soaking in everything in the beets, and we'll pull one out and let you see what it looks like three days later. Now you can let these go as little or as much time as you would like, and the longer they're in here, the more the flavor intensifies. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a beet, and then let me get an egg right here. Look at that beautiful color purple on that egg. That's what you want to see. Three days later, you want that purple soaking to be all the way down into that yolk. That is a good looking pickled egg. Let's give it a taste. I love pickled eggs, especially in the summertime. I could be out working in the garden and it's a hot, hot day. You know when it's really hot, you're not really hungry, but you still need to eat, it's important. So usually around lunchtime, these are great lunchtime snacks. They're cold out the fridge, along with some of the beets. I have me a big glass of water, along with hey, two or three of these, a couple beets, just a light lunch, but this gives you a lot of protein. 
the sugars in it gives you a little bit of jolt in your energy and it ends up working out really good so it's a good summertime snack if you're busy in the garden but these pickled eggs i absolutely love them the beets they end up being super sweet like candy oh so good so now i mentioned though that i really like these in the summer after i'm working in the garden that's one of my favorite times and ways to eat them my other favorite way to eat these pickled eggs and actually my wife who isn't a huge fan of pickled eggs to eat solo one of her favorite things and she actually really likes is to cut them up um, into circles straight down and to put on salads you put pickled eggs in a salad especially with like a i like it with like a raspberry vinaigrette dressing or some kind of a, a vinaigrette i think is fantastic it's dynamite um, but the great thing guys is this is super versatile sometimes i'll add onions to it and let those onions pickled in the juice and those are really good on sandwiches um, or to eat regular but the great thing about pickled eggs is it's endless opportunities and creative ways of which you can make it some people make them spicy i like my favorite no matter how many variations i've tried have been this very standard sort of sweet and tangy basic combination of the beets the beet juice the sugar and the vinegar i've tried to get fancy and and they were good but at the end of the day this is my favorite recipe and as we're heading into time where a lot of you have extra eggs or may have never tried pickled eggs i think this is a good way for you to use up some of your eggs and to try something new so guys give it a try if you've never had them i suggest you try them these are a little more on the sweet side but i absolutely love them i hope you all will enjoy them too if you got any suggestions on ways to to make these in the future throw it down there in the comment section below and if it's a kind i haven't tried i'll be more than happy to because i got a bazillion eggs coming in right now and i'll pickle eggs all day long if i get the opportunity i appreciate you hanging out with us hope you all enjoy this and y'all have a wonderful day and until then we'll see you here real soon on the next episode y'all be good Oh, well.